Welcome back to This Guy's Wretch. Today we're going to test out the Ames Oil Signature Series oil that I purchased for my new F-150. Coming up. This Guy's Garage. Like and subscribe. Welcome back to this guy's garage. Coming up on the time where I'm going to be putting my first oil change in my F-150. Now, uh, those of you that have been around the channel for a while know the oil consumption issues that I've had with my previous F-150 with the 5 liter engine. And low speed pre-ignition was a big part of the problem. And as I explained in previous videos that because these trucks run such a low gear ratio and they run down the road between 12 and 1500 RPM, they become highly susceptible to low speed pre-ignition. It's a heavy truck with a small displacement engine. So it's uh, the engine is a little small for the weight of the truck. Anyways, so to combat low speed pre-ignition, I uh, have been researching which oil I was gonna put in my truck when it came time to change the oil. Um, the oil change was due at 14,000 kilometers and uh, at 11,000 I, I couldn't wait any longer I, I I felt it was time to change the oil I could just couldn't I just couldn't leave it go to even with 11,000 kilometers on it saying there's 32 percent oil life left that I, I couldn't leave it go until the change engine oil like come on I, I needed to change it now so let's get ready to go on vacation as I said now's the time let's let's drop the oil out of this thing and uh, um, so in my research, I was uh, combing through oils that were good for low speed pre-ignition and the only oil that was out there that the oil, the only oil company out there talking about low speed pre-ignition is the Ames Oil. Uh, and what I decided to go with was the Ames Oil Signature Series 100% Synthetic Oil, 530 weight. And uh, 530 weight was one of the reasons why I decided to go with the EcoBoost. I, well, I wouldn't buy another five liter regardless. Uh, so what I put in it was 5W30 Super Synthetic from Amsoil. And I wish I had it took some video of the engine running. Not that the engine was loud previously, but right now with this oil in it, it runs significantly quieter. It is so quiet you can that engine has never been that quiet since I bought it. You can't, you can't hear it running. It wasn't really noisy, but it was like, there's a lot of time and chain. There's, there's the tensioners in it, direct injection pump, all, all mechanical noises. Yeah lot of mechanical interference parts that you know will make a certain amount of noise when the engines run but I wish I had a took before and after of how quiet it is but it is significantly quiet uh, another thing after making a 700 kilometer trip with it is the increase in fuel economy I I kid you not the engine runs smoother at highway it's a noticeable difference in how much smoother the truck runs under load with with this oil in it as opposed to the oil that was in it previously which was the factory fill so I put the AMS oil signature series in it with an AMS oil filter now this oil is supposed to be good this is supposed to be a 25,000 kilometer oil change I could never see a universe where I'd leave an engine run for 25,000 miles. 25,000 miles or a year. Uh, I, I don't run that kind of miles in a year, but I'm gonna check this this oil every month. Um, believe me, I know when it's time to change the oil and when it's time to change the oil, it'll come out with it. I, I honestly couldn't see me going past 8,000 miles on, on any oil, but I'm gonna check it out once a month and uh, I'll report back to you on that and uh, let you know how I find it to be. It's pricey, it's expensive, but the service, I gotta say, 
I ordered the oil on a Saturday afternoon and it was at my doorstep. Now I'm in Canada, so it was at my doorstep Tuesday morning. I, I, I was blown away at the speed of the service. Noticeably, a huge difference in driving under load, faster, smoother acceleration. It's, I, I just can't believe how much quieter the engine runs. Uh, I did have some correspondence with uh, Amsoil before I bought the oil um, because of the low speed pre-ignition where, where the five, my 5 liter had so much problems where it was going through much oil I, I inquired about I, I asked the direct question would, would this stop the low speed pre-ignition in the 5 liter and the answer they gave me was truthful and honest the but, answer uh, they gave me is if an engine is using oil it, the oil, this oil won't stop it from using oil but what it will stop is what happens when it uses the oil so this engine this engine oil is 100% synthetic so it won't burn uh, there's studies where it has zero cases of low speed pre-ignition so what happens when you have low speed pre-ignition is your oil is in the bath here and a conventional oil or a semi-synthetic oil is going to go to a gaseous, gaseous state. Once it gets into that gaseous state, it's going to get pulled into the PVC system and into the intake where it ends up on top of your piston. Now when that oil ends up on top of your piston in a deposit, it turns, it starts to glow red and what it creates is it's basically a, a built-in spark plug so that stays red all the time as soon as the soon as the fuel injector fires the fuel into the cylinder this is glowing red hot and what it causes is a misfire so that's that's what low speed pre-ignition is and how you get low speed pre-ignition is exactly as stated running at a low rpm under high load and this is where you get your a lot of the engine rattle that's in the 5 liter engines right now so I, I can't uh, tell anybody in good conscience what to do but I can say for sure that I'm gonna be continuing to use this oil in my truck so I'm not one for leaving oil changes go for long periods of time. I, I and any mechanic, good mechanic worth their salt will tell you the quality of quality of oil is as much importance as how often you change your oil. One thing I want to say about the F-150, this the F-150 with the EcoBoost compared to my five liter. Now, the technical service bulletin for the five liter, the technical service bulletin tells you you can expect to burn multiple quarts of quarts of oil before the engine breaks in. Uh, I'm happy to announce that my EcoBoost engine over 11,000 kilometers never touched a drop of oil. So if you, if you have any reservations about buying a 5 liter but you have to have a Ford, that I can say so far. I'm, I'm still a little raw about having to buy the new truck. So yeah, I, I don't want to give Ford too much good press, but I'm going to give you some honest uh, insights to what I'm doing with the, to protect my truck. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's ranch. We're going to be checking this oil once a month, and I will leave it in the truck and how long I'm comfortable leaving it in the truck for. This is supposed to be a year of protection. Let's see how close I can get to that before I'm so uncomfortable that I have to take it out again. Thanks for stopping by this guy's garage. You can hit the subscribe button right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. Until the next time, this guy. Significantly, it's a, it runs significant. It runs significant. Significantly. Right and subscribe. It runs significant.